Hello again, and thank you for joining me at Wendy's Way. Today we're continuing our journey in faith in our Gems from Grace and Glory series. This is a devotional written by my friend Marilyn Lee. Right now we are focusing on Psalm 119, and she wrote this devotional in May of this year, which is 2019. <clears throat> Today's verses are Psalm 119, verses 105 through 112. <clears throat> and she does remind us here that she's taking it from the English Standard Version, ESV. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to keep your righteous rules. I am severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my freewill offering of praise, O Lord, and teach me your rules. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray from your precepts. Your testimonies are my heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. I don't know how you feel about Psalm 119. Obviously, Marilyn has studied it extensively and finds it very rich. And I'm truly enjoying her devotional on it. Um, to me, it's a lot like uh, how I found the Psalms before I really started studying the Bible in that it's not so much um, up and down as in a lot of the Psalms I find to sound like uh, bipolar disorder illustration from David. This one just seems to me to be incredibly repetitive on the exact same subject. All about the laws, the precepts, the commandments. Marilyn's devotional. Verse 105. I am reading online about the lamps they had in Old Testament times. They carried small lamps with them wherever they went to guide their feet so they did not stray off the path or step where they should not. There was just enough light from those small lamps to see to walk one step. Here the word of God is compared to a small lamp. In the word we have light enough to guide us one step, one day at a time. Verse 106 in the New Living Translation reads, I've promised it once and I'll promise it again. I will obey your righteous regulations. Let us think carefully about what we promised the Lord. It says in Ecclesiastes 5, 4 through 6, When you vow a vow to God, do not delay paying it, for he has no pleasure in fools. Pay what you vow. It is better that you should not vow than that you should vow and not pay. Let not your mouth lead you into sin, and do not say before the messenger that it was a mistake. Why should God be angry at your voice? and destroy the work of your hands. And in Deuteronomy 23, 21 through 23, excuse me, if you make a vow to the Lord your God, you shall not delay fulfilling it, for the Lord your God will surely require it of you, and you will be guilty of sin. But if you refrain from vowing, you will not be guilty of sin. You shall not be, you shall be careful to do what is past your lips, for you have voluntarily vowed to the Lord your God what you have promised with your mouth. But when they vowed to keep God's word, they were not promising absolute perfection. The law of God is included, the law of God included sacrifices for sin, so they were vowing to obey God as best they could and to make the sin offerings as required as they repented of their sins. So we too have a blood sacrifice in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we sin, we can go to God our Father. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and seek his forgiveness. Fellowship with him is restored and we can once again walk in sweet communion with him. By the grace of God, we can promise to keep the word of God and know that the indwelling Holy Spirit will help us to keep that promise one day at a time for the rest of our lives. Each verse in this precious section of the psalm can bear meditating on and speaking it to our hearts. Verse 107, the promise of God to restore our lives and our sufferings, he comforts us and we have knowledge that one day, in this life or the next, we will be fully restored to life again. Verse 108, offer unto the Lord offerings of praise as you seek him to teach you from his word. Verse 111 is the last one I will look at with you. Your laws are my treasure, they are my heart's delight. Oh, let this be the prayer of our lives. When we treasure the word of God in our hearts, he keeps us from sin. Mm hmm. I love illustrations. Uh, when Marilyn said part of the law was sacrifices, they couldn't be perfect. So when they sinned, they brought a sacrifice to God in repentance. Start over, reboot, gain forgiveness. And we do the same. Blood sacrifice, but we don't offer animals to the Lord because Jesus came and hung on the cross as full and final sacrifice. So when we go to God, we go to God through Christ, who is our sacrifice and carries our repentance to the Lord. Mm. Thank you so much for joining me. May the good Lord who blesses me each and every day of my life bless you as well today and always. Amen.